I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will learn the concept of a rate of change and it is going to help us to understand calculus better. In calculus, we try to find slope of tangents on different curves and so this becomes a very important topic to start with. The question here is, find slope of tangent line to the curve y equals to minus x square plus 3 at x equals to 1. So let me make a rough sketch here. So we have a parabola which opens downwards, right? Minus x square plus 3. It opens downwards and it has been translated 3 units up, right? So kind of like this. So the point here is, is 3 and uh, at x equals to 1, that means 1 unit from here, it will go down by one step so this point will be one two perfect you could also substitute one here so if you substitute one here you get minus one plus three which is two when we say find slope of tangent line at a given point so graphically if you're finding you'll actually draw a tangent here kind of like this right and then find slope of this tangent. You can see very clearly you expect a negative answer, right? Now we'll apply difference quotient formula to find the slope of this tangent line. So what we'll do here, we can use concept of limits, those who have done it. Basically, we're taking this point P and we're taking another point Q, which is very close to P. The secant becomes a tangent when the x value between p and q is approaching zero, right? So that gives us the idea that slope of the tangent will be a limit when the distance between the two, so we normally represent this by letter h, approaches zero for change of y value over change of x value. So the change of y value is basically f of the point given to us, which is 1. So the formula basically, let me write that first, minus f of a divided by a plus h minus a. And we write limit. So it's a convention, uh, which says the two points are very close, h approaches 0. Clearly, a plus h minus a is h, so we could write this as limit h approaches 0 for f of a plus h minus f of a over h. Now, a is given to us as 1 in this case, right? So we can find what is f of 1. If I substitute 1 here, I get minus 1 square plus 3 which is minus 1 plus 3, which is 2, as I had written here, right? Let's find what is 1 plus h. a is 1 in our case, right? So what is f of 1 plus h? To find 1 plus h, we'll replace x with 1 plus h. So minus 1 plus h whole square plus 3, and that gives us minus, we'll apply the formula, a square plus 2ab, which is 2h, plus h square, plus 3, correct? And that is equal to 1 minus 3 is 2, right? So we get 2, plus 2h, plus, I mean, let's rewrite this. I should have taken minus outside. So let's write like this, minus 1, minus 2h, minus h square plus 3 and that gives us minus 2h minus h square 3 minus 1 is plus 2 is it okay so that becomes f1 plus h now slope of the tangent is rise over run which is right here change in y over change in x value so we can write slope we also call this as instantaneous rate of change, right? 
So we can also call it as instantaneous rate of change at x equals to 1 is equal to f of 1 plus h minus f of 1 divided by h when the limit h approaches 0, right? So the expression which we have here is 1 plus h is minus 2h minus h square plus 2 minus f of m f of 1 which is 2 and we have the limit h approaches 0 divided by h. Now here plus 2 minus 2 cancel so what we get here is limit h approaches 0 minus 2 h minus h square over h. Is it okay? Now let's take it on the right side or I can just continue here. We can write this as limit h approaches 0. If I take minus h common for example I get 2 plus h over h. So these h cancel out right so we get limit h approaches 0 minus of 2 plus h. Now I can substitute 0 for h right so we get minus 2. So the slope of this tangent line at x equals to 1 is minus 2 correct so that becomes the the solution or the slope of the tangent line at a given point i hope that helps i'm anil kumar you can always share and subscribe to my videos and feel free to post questions thank you and all the best